Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your tarot reading for the month of July of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Just because this is coming out for the month of July doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you find this reading, whenever you're guided to watch this reading, then this could be the message for you in that moment, okay? Also keep in mind we could be talking to a cross watcher those who are watching on behalf of or for a for the sake of i guess i should say for a cancerian energy yeah now if you guys would like to get a, a a private reading with me i am available for that in limited quantities this month but all the information for that can be found in the description box below also i in i i in um encourage you to check us out over on patreon patreon.com slash divine conversations if you would like to gain some extra content during the month or just to support the channel there's a lot of great stuff over there yeah as always i encourage you guys to like share and subscribe also make sure that you let me know how this reading resonates for you down in the comment section below this is divine conversations i love hearing from you guys let's have a conversation about what you're going through yeah <sighs> Okay, Cancer, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here. Um, so it seems that we could be talking about a marriage or we could be talking about a an established relationship or maybe an established circumstance. Uh, I'm also getting that we could potentially, this could be uh, some form of higher learning, some sort of institutionalized energy that you are, we'll say, up against, okay? There has been a level of sorrow involved with this, Cancer, uh, but I feel like you're giving up some sort of fight or some sort of strife in order to be happy, okay? There's something about some sort of institutionalized energy that uh, seems to be driving you towards a state of unhappiness, and I feel like at this point you realize what that is and how you can change the circumstance so that you can, in fact, be happy. Your pre-shuffle consists of the Five of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and then the Nine of Wands, but the Nine of Wands is in reverse, okay? So this is the card, this is the energy that's helping me feel like you're giving up the fight, you're giving up some sort of struggle here, all right? Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, we're starting you off with the Hierophant. So this is that institutionalized energy. This could be a marriage, a long-standing relationship, something that you've been committed to. I'm also getting, I'm also getting some sort of higher learning. Some of you could have been going to school, uh, a college, uh, going to university or maybe grad school or maybe even going, oh, gosh, gone so far as going to for some sort of master's in something. Um, I mean, I really hope, I, not to say that, you know, that going for your master's or something like that is bad. I just, for your sake, I hope that you haven't gotten all the way down to this phase just to realize that you don't want that, that it's not, well... At the same time, if this does resonate for you in this way, then it's unfortunate that it took so long for you to get to a point where now you're starting to realize that this may have all been a waste of time or a waste of effort, maybe even a waste of money. Um, I do understand how that could happen, though, because it, it's one of those situations where you're not really going to know whether it resonates for you or not until you're in the thick of it, right? Okay. And even if that is your even if that is your deal, I feel for you. I, I I'm sorry to hear of that. I'm sorry to pick up on that. No, I'm, I'm not sorry to pick up on it. I'm sorry to hear of it. But ultimately, it's going to lead you towards something better. But you have the Hierophant here. Underneath the Hierophant, you do have the Four of Pentacles, which is that energy of trying to hold on to it. Underneath the Four of Pentacles is the Two of Pentacles. So trying to hold on to it, Cancer. But but in terms of of trying to strike a balance or trying to find some sort of compromise or happy medium here, ultimately that led you to gain an understanding of what it is you truly felt in this situation or what, how it is you truly feel about this situation or circumstance, which then led to some fear. Because once you started to realize that this wasn't right for you or you weren't going in the right direction or this doesn't resonate for you anymore or whatever, this is not in alignment with you, this is not something you want to be involved with any longer, that's when the fear and the panic started to set in. That's when your emotions started to get out of control uh, to a certain extent. But then moving forward from this, what seems to be, a, be, be giving you a sense of redemption here, Cancer, is the fact that even through all of this, you have the opportunity to find a greater sense of love for yourself, Ace of Cups, which then leads you to understanding your self-worth and what it is you have to provide to the situation, which is, which is uh, 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 
uh, represented by the Queen of Pentacles, which then leads you ultimately to the completion of this lesson, Ten of Pentacles, and then ultimately the completion of the cycle, the world. And this happens because of a greater sense of self-awareness, the Hermit, which then puts you into uh, or gives you the opportunity to get into greater alignment with what it is you truly want, the Queen of Wands, and thus victory the sun, and ultimately the end of a toxic or tough situation, Ten of Swords, because you cut it out, the Queen of Swords. So even though this is kind of a struggle, Cancer, ultimately the situation has served its purpose. The Hierophant, while it does represent institutionalized energies like we spoke of earlier, the Hierophant also represents very tough lessons, very necessary lessons in this three-dimensional world. And it seems the Hierophant energies here have served its purpose because this was, was pushing you to get into greater alignment of, with who you truly are, to figure out who you truly are on a much deeper level. And that's the way that this situation ends or works itself out. Okay, Cancer. We're going to get into the rest of this reading here. Uh, and I'm going to give this a few shuffles. Just give me a moment. Let me just reset. And then we're going to get into the rest of your reading and see what other messages we have for you for the month of July. Yeah? Excellent. Let's do this, Cancer. Ten of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Ultimately, you're moving towards a sense of greater happiness. And I just heard greater attunement. Excuse me. Greater attunement. But that attunement comes into, like, fine-tuning your vibration. Fine-tuning your vibration in, in relation to understanding who it is, more of who it is you truly are on a deeper aspect, deeper element. And I don't want anybody to be discouraged, okay? If you find yourself in a situation in which you have been really working for something for a long time, let's say, worst case scenario, you're going for your master's and now all of a sudden, holy shit, I don't want to do this. This is not where I want to be. This is not who I am, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Okay, that's fine. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't get settled into that Nine of Swords energy. Don't let your ego start running amok and beating the shit out of you. Because ultimately, you came down into this physical reality to learn these lessons. There are no such things as mistakes here, okay? As long as you have learned from it and you can, you can assimilate, you can gain, you can, you can integrate what it is that needed to be learned in this situation and then move on in your life in a better way, that's really all that matters, Cancer, okay? Five shuffles for you. One. For my cancers, definitely watch your sun, moon, and rising sign, you guys, okay? That could really help you get a deeper or a, a, more, a, a more specific view as to what's going on for you for this cycle. Yeah, this is two. For my cancerians, for the month of July 2021, this is three. This is four. You guys probably hear a bunch of some sound in the background, like a droning sound. I do have the fan on because it is hot today. And this is five. <laughs> All right, Cancer, let us cut the deck here. Boop. All right, Cancer, overall energy. We are starting you off with the Nine of Swords. All right, okay, look, I knew it, I felt it, it's there. And honestly, Cancer, as a really deeply emotional sign, I mean, all the water signs are emotional, um, but you feel a lot, Cancer. And sometimes that can be overwhelming. And I, feel, I do feel like this is what this is, okay? The Nine of Swords. It's a sense of overwhelm. Don't allow yourself to become overwhelmed here because then ultimately underneath the Nine of Swords, you do have the sun to the High Priestess and right back to the Hermit. Okay, so the High Priestess represents the counterpart energies to the Hierophant. The Hierophant in this way can represent the three-dimensional reality, okay, institution, the physical world, and all that kind of stuff. The High Priestess represents the higher awareness, the, the universe, the mystery. Um, the High Priestess often represents a level of uh, initiation, whereas the Hierophant represents indoctrination. The High Priestess represents initiation, okay, at least for me as a reader, and definitely in terms of this situation. So you've got, you've got this Nine of Swords energy going on for you, okay? That's fine. Don't focus on that because fear is just an Fear is an illusion, okay? I mean, obviously, fear has an important part in the existence and survival of a human being or any given physically oriented being in, on this planet, in this three-dimensional reality, yes. Fear is a way of defending yourself. 
But fear like this, this is illusionary because this is all coming from your ego. And it's also coming from a sense of self, but it's a sense of self, a sense of who you were in the past now that you see differently, okay? And a lot of you could be in this energy of why did I waste so much time doing this? You didn't waste anything. First of all, time is an illusion, okay? Second of all, as long as you learn the lesson, you, there was no waste, there was no mistake. Even if you didn't get the lesson right away, you still will be given an opportunity to get it next time. And if that doesn't work, okay, fine. We're just gonna keep doing this over and over again until you, un until you finally understand and can move past the cycle, the lesson, okay? But I do feel like you're getting past it at this point, Cancer. You have the sun with the high priestess. You are being initiated into a higher point of view, okay? You, and this higher point of view has everything to do with a greater sense of self-awareness. And it is, in fact, the heartbreak that is, that is influencing you, pushing you towards achieving this sense of heartbreak so that you can cut things out of your life that no longer resonate, no longer serve you, or maybe never actually served you 1111 on the counter, never actually served you or never actually resonated, you to, resonated with you to begin with. But you wouldn't have known cancer if you hadn't gone through this process. Please do not beat yourself up about this. Ultimately, when you make the cuts, justice will be brought into your life on a soul level, okay? This is more than just justice in the physical, getting some sort of physical payout or some sort of physical result. This is like justice on a higher awareness level, all right? Love yourself, Cancer, you deserve it. You haven't done anything wrong here and you're definitely not a bad person. So I don't wanna hear any of that floating around for you, okay? It's not worth it and it's not fair to you, okay? We're gonna get into the rest of this here, Cancer. So we're gonna look in the first half and the second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to be looking at the past leading up to this moment in your current energies. From there, we're gonna to go to the second half of your reading where we're gonna look at the current moment and off into the future, yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the first half of your reading, you have, whoa, there's the King of Swords, okay? Discernment, yes, both the King and the Queen of Swords represent discernment, but the King of Swords represents this process for you, especially from the past leading up until this moment. And that doesn't necessarily have to be in July of 2021, you guys. We could be talking about the moment wherever you find yourself connecting with this reading and it resonates for you, okay? But from the past up until this moment currently for you energetically, there has been a process of trying to get down to the bottom of things, trying to get down to what something, the truest aspects of something is what I just heard. What something really, truly means for you. But this also in requires and includes a level of honesty with yourself. Being absolutely honest, 100% and straight factual with yourself about what something truly means to you. How it has been affecting you in your life. Or maybe even the process of what you've been doing, your involvement in it, and whether or not it's really serving you or not. Okay. King of Swords is coupled with. There we go. The Ten of Swords, Cancer. So it is, your, it is your logic. It is straight facts. I don't care about opinions. I don't care about people's, other people's feelings because yes, there could have been a level of other people's feelings or other people's opinions influencing you or guiding you in this direction. I don't, I don't care about any of that, Cancer. What does this truly mean for you? And how can you bring the suffering to an end? That's what this is, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the first half of your reading, you have the Knight of Swords. Woo, okay, yikes. Um, aggressiveness, aggressively cutting ties, or just getting the action done. So often I like to say that the Knight of Swords is the individual that the King and the Queen send out to do their dirty work. You have the Page of Swords, which is like their sentry, their scout, their spy, right? They send out the page and say, get the information for me. I want the facts. The page is like, I'm on it, Captain. Gets out there, gets everything, collect, does their research, collects everything, brings it back to the king and queen. The king and queen sit there and they go through it. They're like, yeah, okay, okay, A, B, C, and D. Wow, okay, mm-hmm. Yeah, what are we gonna do about this? Mm-hmm. All right, great. Knight, I'm gonna need you to go execute. I'm gonna need you to go make, make some cuts. I'm gonna need you to go fight the battle for us. So this is that energy of you getting in the process of cutting some things down, okay? Or at least having been in the process of cutting things down, following through with the discernment that has led you to certain conclusions that now you can take action on, 
Okay. The Knight of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Wands. Uh, ooh, wow. Okay. For some of you, the Knight of Swords actually represents um, blindly forcing yourself through something because you do have the Nine of Wands here. Now, the Nine of Wands came out in your pre-shuffle and it was reversed, okay? Um, so at that moment, it was saying to me that you were giving up the struggle, but now we're looking from, in this half of the reading, we're looking from the past up until the, up until the present. So in the past, there may have been an energy of you just persevering, keeping your head down and just keep going, right? Forcing yourself to get through it, forcing yourself to follow through, forcing yourself to keep up with this. Mm. Okay. All right. Your challenge, Cancer, in the first half of your reading is the Empress. Your unconditionally loving nature, Cancer, is what has been... Uh, your unconditionally loving nature, your very loving, supportive, and um, nurturing nature has been influencing you here but it's from an ego place and i do feel like there are there is influence of other people involved because you want to be loving caring and nurturing because you want to be accepting and inclusive it's led you to take on some things that you're not really meant for you or not don't really resonate with you and you're gonna have to cut ties with this i am definitely getting an energy of enabling here with the empress um that you're gonna need to face you're gonna need to deal with and I am definitely getting that you have to set some boundaries here. The high, no, sorry, not the high priestess. The empress is coupled with, whoa, cancer, the emperor. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so cancer, check it out. The empress is representing your unconditionally loving nature, all loving, all nurturing, all caring, all giving, and sometimes enabling. But your challenge up until now is or has been, yes, being in that unconditionally loving nature of the Empress uh, Cancer, but having to place some boundaries in. And the Emperor isn't, the Emperor is not showing up here to be an asshole, okay? He is protecting the Empress. He is protecting the, 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 the principles and the energies of the Empress in order to ensure the longevity and the ability to sustain and keep going and keep doing what the empress does but she can't just keep doing it without any sort of boundaries because she's going to be depleted and then everything's going to die so your challenge here cancer is to yes be loving yes be accepting and nurturing but also have boundaries be learn when to say no learn when to say no I, i'm not going to do that i don't want to do that i can't do that that's not for me whatever whatever that sounds like okay your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Cancer, is the Six of Wands. This is good. A, per a personal victory does come through when you are able to put these boundaries in place, when you're able to balance your receptivity, your unconditionally loving nature, your nurturing nature, but also balance that with the amount of boundaries that help to pre preserve and protect you. That's where victory comes into play for you. And also recognition, there is some, like, this is going to be seen as a glow up uh, in, in terms of some of the other people around you, like, whoa, I mean, this, whoa, I didn't know, damn, I didn't know you were capable of that. Yeah. Say hello to the new me. Yes. <laughs> Six of Wands is coupled with the Knight of Wands. See, now, what this is also going to provide to you, Cancer, is the ability to actually pursue sue or persevere even with the things that you actually want to do the things that actually resonate with you this is providing you with the boundaries enough to, to to allow you to go in the direction that actually inspires you okay i mean ultimately i like this cancer obviously there's a lot of struggle here but it's worth it is what i'm hearing even though even if you might not understand that right now it is in fact worth it on a soul level okay all right, Cancer. Let's get into the second half of your reading. Yep. Yeah? First set. So we're looking at the current energy, the, the current energy moving off into the future a bit. Yes. 
First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the first half of your reading. You, oh, sorry, in the second half of your reading, you have, ooh, there's the page. Okay, so, all right, so definitely, definitely, in some cases, the Knight of Swords is representing that blindly, like blindly going after something without really investigating the Knight of Swords can very much be a shoot first, ask questions later. Very volatile energy sometimes. But now, in the second half of your reading, moving off from this current moment, moving off into the future, I do find you either trying to have some sort of intellectual conversation with people around you, your higher-ups or whatever, your, your mentors or just people that you serve, and or trying to get to some information, some deeper aspects of the situation. The Page of Swords is coupled with strength. So actually, yeah, there could be a level of just trying to get to a deeper understanding of something, but I absolutely believe that this Page of Swords moving off into the future is an element of you just communicating truth and communicating it from a sense of strength, being able to stand tall, stand firm, stand firmly grounded in who it is you are or what it is that you've learned what it is you've come to understand up until this point and not really allowing anybody to sway you okay uh, uh second set of surrounding energies for you cancer in the second half of your reading you have the three of wands okay there you go that's your path that's the momentum you have on your path um i feel like for some of you moving forward in the future you're going to be questioning you're going to be kind of setting your ego aside okay and questioning what it is you're actually working towards. And is this really worth it or is this really in alignment with you or not? Is this momentum that we have going here, is this the right momentum? Is this the right direction for me or not? And what can I do about that? The Three of Wands is coupled with the Ace of Wands. Good. So I do feel like you're going to be picking up a wand that's going to be moving you in a much better direction. Excuse me, guys. Um, the Ace of Wands is also representing you gaining the inspiration, the understanding that you need to now continue moving forward on your path, on your journey. That is, I feel, an element that is much more in alignment with you at this point. All right, Cancer. Your challenge here in the second half of your reading is the Page of Cups. Uh, getting back to a sense of innocence, be emotionally understanding, being emotionally open to the new. Allowing yourself to heal. The Page of Cups is also representing forgiveness. Forgiveness of yourself, forgiveness of those who may have seemed to lead you astray. But definitely forgiveness of your, for yourself here, okay? Page of Cups is coupled with, ooh, there you are, Cancer, the Queen of Cups. All right. Focusing on your emotions, focusing on, on how it is you truly feel. And your challenge is also going to be, Cancer, um, communicating, listening to and communicating with your inner child. Because it's your inner child or your, the, from, from the place of your heart, your heart-centered awareness, that is actually going to allow you to understand what it is you truly feel or what it is you truly want, what it is you're truly creatively inspired to go after, what fills your soul, what lights you up, what fills you with a sense of wonder, excitement. But in order for you to do that, Cancer, and I'm not saying that this is hard for you or this is something that you don't do, because you're a Cancerian. I mean, your emotions are one of your leading attributes, one of your strongest suits. Your emotions and your capacity for empathy towards other people in terms of their emotions, right? So you're gonna have to turn a little bit of that, a little bit of that energy in on yourself and really start nurturing, loving, and caring for your inner child in a way that allows you to, sh to thrive and strive. Okay, I definitely see the Queen of Cups with the Page of Cups as like a motherly energy coming to her child um, and, and helping them to feel better, bringing with her a sense of emotional awareness and validation in terms of what that child is feeling. And this definitely feels like a sense of your inner child, okay? 
Closing message or potential outcome for you, Cancer, in the second half of your reading, you have the moon. Ooh, shadow. Well, also, Cancer, this, is rep this represents you again as well. But you do have the sun and the moon here, Cancer. I will say that. The overall energy, you do have the sun. And then in the closing message, potential outcome for the second half of your reading, closing this out for you, you do have the moon. So what I felt with the moon when that first came out was um, uh, facing your shadow side. Maybe even doing some shadow work. And in that, for some of you, I'm feeling specifically that doing this shadow work is representative of understanding how the emotions, the drives, the whims, the inspiration of other people has been influencing you here. The moon is coupled with the four of pentacles. Recognizing what it is that you've been holding on to because of a sense of lack or not wanting to miss out, not wanting to lose. But that, I just heard illusions of grandeur. Okay, take that as it resonates. But that is ultimately uh, a really, really positive and beneficial and good thing because now in terms of what it is you've been holding on to, the illusion is broken or the illusion is about to be, allowed to be, is, it's, it's, uh, it's possible for this illusion to be seen through for what it truly is. King of Swords, okay? Okay, Cancer. I do like. I, I mean, this is I, I, this is a lot of tough energy, but I like this. This is a good. Ultimately, this is a good way to to round out your reading. Yeah. Let's get some closing oracle guidance for you, and I feel like it should be coming from the Light Worker Oracle. Yes. All right. Five shuffles, Cancer. One. Two. Whoa. Let's try that again. Two. For my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2021. Closing messages, please, Spirit. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Cancer. Let's get you your closing message in terms of this reading, yeah? Closing messages from my Cancerians, please, Spirit. There it is, right there. We have card number 34. Hold your center. All right, let's read this for you. Okay. Card number 34, hold your center. Now, before I go any further, I do want to mention that card, this is 34 boils down to a seven. And seven, just like all the odd numbers, is a number of change. Um, I personally feel like seven, when it comes to change and the challenges that are presented that ultimately influence you or help you reach this change, seven is one of the tougher ones, okay? Um, be, but, but with that, and this is why I feel like the number seven also kind of has that lucky element to it because should you follow through, persevere, and, 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 and work through this change, the rewards or the, the benefits for you are immense, okay? It's almost like you've won a jack, the jackpot somehow. And, and, and that makes perfect sense as to why this is, feels like a really tough situation for you, but when you win, when you overcome this cancer, you're going to be in such a better state than you were before, okay? Luck is on your side here. Hold your center. Have you been rushing out to meet others, trying to bend or accommodate their needs at the expense of your own well-being and inner peace? Now you are to strengthen your own energy, your own boundaries, to find your ground, firmly place your feet there, and do not move. Feel your feet anchoring you like a beautiful tree. Let, your experience, let yourself experience quiet certainty as you hold your center with commitment, courage, and consciousness. You are learning to trust in your own instincts, to take your own journey without comparison to the life of another. There is no need to become disheartened or distracted by comparisons or judgments. The earth needs your light, which can only come from you. 
You will offer so much less if you try to make it match your beauty, if you try to make it match your beauty to what you perceive to be the beauty of another. This oracle brings you confirmation. You are on the right path. You do not need to collapse into fear or doubt to ease old guilt or make others more comfortable. It is not selfish or, quote, hard of you to be strong. You can hold yourself in high esteem and be gentle and loving to others whilst absolutely refusing to accept any behavior, belief, or attitude of another that would tear you down or cast you into doubt or self-hatred. I'm going to leave it there, Cancer. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so, so very much. Again, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, definitely leave your comments down in the section, comment section below. I love hearing from you. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am taking personal readings this month, but on a limited basis, on a limited number. Yeah. So get in there as soon as you can. Um, and also check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. That can be found in the description box below. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!